uh, joint fifth place in the World Championships. And you can see a bit quick off the line, or in fact, very quick off the line. Patrick Vigier for Holland. Skaters allowed one full start. Better that time. You can see a real hesitation there from the Dutchman. So out in front, it's uh, Yi Yang for China. Korean Lee in second place. Vigia for Holland in third. And uh, Tomura for Japan at the back, just uh, speeding things up. The pace too slow for him as uh, Noya Tomura for Japan leads. Big year, not wanting to be left behind, trying to make a move around the outside. So Japan leading, Korea in second place, China in third, Holland in fourth at the moment. The Korean flags waving in support of their skaters. So Tomura for Japan, still out in front. China's young. In second place, as Yuan Wan Li makes a move, trying to get up into that second spot. He makes it with three laps to go. So now Japan in first place, Korea in second. The Korean takes a look down the inside. Yuan Wan Li all over the back of Noya Tomura. Tomura trying to keep his line. Important to be tight coming out of the bend. The Korean flags wave at the bell. A lap to go. Noya Tomura leading. Yun Wan Lee doing everything he can to get inside. Oh, splendid stuff. Noya Tomura, Japan, hangs on to that position. Well, Yun Wan Lee for Korea tried just about every trick in the book to get past. Yi Yang for China, finishing in third place. Vig for Holland in fourth. So five points there for Japan. This a much better performance from them. Maximum points so far. In fact, no, they have uh, 11 points out of a possible 15. So they've dropped four points in this 1,000 meters. And their confirmation of uh, that result. So there the uh, lineup for race number 12. The Republic of Korea, Dong Sun Kim. Out in front, Canada's Jonathan Gilmet. It's uh, Hungary, Balaz Notch, and uh, Mark Velzebor for Holland at the back. And incidentally, the uh, Dutch team now coached by Wolf O'Reilly. Now, uh, Lives in Holland, married to uh, Mark's sister, Monique Bozibor. That's Mark Lee as the uh, Korean Kim moves up the outside. A big cheer for Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea as he takes up the running. Bozibor for Holland still in second place. Jonathan Gilmet for Canada, trying to find a way through. Notch for Hungary, closing up the gap as the Canadian comes through now. But the Korean has opened up quite a gap with two laps to go. Korea lead, Dong Sung Kim for Korea. Jonathan Gilmet has reeled him in. Gilmet for Canada, right up on the Korean at the bell. Can he get past? Jonathan Gilmet for Canada. How much strength has he got left? He's got to make it fast up that inside line. Well, the Korean got there first. Dong Sun Kim for the Republic of Korea picks up five points there. Jonathan Gill met for Canada, three points. Two points for Hungary. Balas Notch finishing in third place. And Mark Velzebor down in fourth, just a point for him. Now a very artistic move by the Canadian going to the line. But uh, Kim 
picking up those five points. So now race 14. And for Canada, we've got Eric Beda. He's on the inside. China's Kai Feng there in the red strip. For Japan, it's Hitoshi Umatsu. And Hungary's uh, Balint Tibokun. Canadian Beda out in front. China's Kai Feng in second place. Then it's Umatsu for Japan. And the Hungarian at the back with six laps to go. As Feng for China moves to the front. Well, it hasn't been a great start to this uh, World Championships for the uh, team from China. They need points desperately here. As do the Canadians. The Koreans really have been uh, dominating this. So Kai Feng for China out in front. Canada's Eric Vedar in second place. Hitoshi Umatsu for Japan in third. Hungary and fourth at the bell. That's the situation. And Umatsu getting closer to Berdar for Canada. The Canadian doing everything he can on that final lap. But uh, Kai Feng for China wins that one. Eric Berdar for Canada, second place. Umatsu for Japan, third. And uh, Kun for Hungary in fourth place. So uh, after the 1,000 meters, Korea lead with 16 points. Japan in second place with 13 points. Then there are two teams with 12 points. Canada and China locked together at the moment. We're going to take a short break. Back in a moment. Welcome back. We move on now to the uh, 500 metres. Back to the ladies' competition. And uh, just a reminder, it's the Republic of Korea that lead with a maximum of 20 points after the 1,000 metres. Canada in second place. They've dropped five points. And currently have 15. And China and Japan in joint third, 10 points apiece. So a lot at stake here in this first round of the ladies 500 meters. And we've got Korea, China, Austria, and Japan. And it's Korea out in front. China just about in second place, Japan in third. The Korean Haikyuu won, bronze medalist in the world championships. Yang Yang healed for China. Down and out. The world champion takes a fall. So for Japan, it's Tsubaki who wins that one. Ayoko Tsubaki picking up five points there for Japan. Haikyuu won for the Republic of Korea, three points. Catherine Kian for Austria picks up two points and Yang Yang disappointing, no points there. Taking a tumble. Yang Yang, the reigning world champion. And how crucial could that fall be? So uh, on to race 16 is the uh, second heat of the that is 500 meters. Second race, should I say. And uh, the lineup here on the inside for Italy, Marta Cupurso. And it's Natalie Lambert for Canada. Chunlu Wang for China. And Roya Pants for Austria. And they're asking about the track. They do, in fact, keep moving the track up and down the rink to try and uh, protect the ice, because as you can imagine, the ice really does get cut up. Now, Chun Lung Wang straight out in front for China. Natalie Lambert taking a little bit of a slip there in second place. The Italian Capuzzo in third, and Supans for Austria in fourth at the moment. But Chun Lung Wang for China really has built up quite a gap. Trying to make amends for a teammate, Yang Yang, who fell in the first race in this 500-meter final. 
to Chun Lu Wang in a class of her own in this race. Natalie Lambert is not going to reel her in with a lap to go. It's his Mata Kapurso in third place, and that looks to be the way it's going to finish. So Chun Lu Wang for China, five points there. Natalie Lambert picks up three points for Canada. Capuzzo for Italy, two points. And a point for Supan for Austria. On now to the uh, third race in this 500 meter final. Mara Ubani for Italy. Dan Dan Sun for China. Nabuko Yamada for Japan. And uh, for Holland, Melanie DeLang. And uh, an early faller there. Menli Delang for Holland going down. Dan Dan Sun it is for China out in front. The Italian going with Amara Oberni. So Italy needing the points here as well. Just uh, two points so far in this 500 meters. At the bell, Dan Dan Sun for China leads. Mara Obani for Italy in second place for Japan. A long, long way back, Nabuku Yamada. And there's no way through there for the Italian. Dan Dan Sun for China, five points there. Mara Obani for Italy picks up three points for that second place. Yamada for Japan, two points for third. And a point there for Holland for the fourth place from Melanie DeLang. And uh, Yang Yang for China there. Isabel Chabay for Canada in second place. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea in third. And at the back of the moment, Anki Yanni Landman for Holland. Canada needs the points. Number five points down after the first round, the 1,000 metres. Isabel Charay trying to make a move up the inside. So at the bell, it's Yang Yang for China leading. Charay for Canada in second place. The Korean Lee Kyung Chun right up in there as well. It's going to be crucial on this final corner. Can Charay make it? Whoa! Desperately close, but I think Yang Yang got there. Five points again for China. Isabel Charay picking up three points for that second place, but couldn't have been closer. And Lee Kyung Chun, two points for third. Landman, not really in contention, but picks up a point there for Holland. And it's so exciting coming out of that final bend. Isabel Charay gets on the gas very, very early indeed. But Yang Yang has done enough just to hang on in there. You can see Yang Yang well, right across in front of Isabel Charay. Making absolutely sure that there was no way through. So the final race now in the ladies 500 meters. This uh, on the inside there for Italy, Barbara Maldivera. Japan's Ikyu Teshigawara. It is out in front for Korea. Min Yong Twa. Whoa, and the Italian goes down. Valdivere, an early faller as uh, Teshigawara goes out in front. And uh, Christine Boudre now hot in pursuit. So Teshigawara leading for Japan, Boudre for Canada in second place, Chua for the Republic of Korea in third. Boudre starting to make her move. She's 
closed right up, moves up the inside. Boudre for Canada now leading out the bell. Tesha Guara for Japan in second place. Twa for the Republic of Korea in third. The Italian down and out after that fall. Great performance there from Christine Boudre for Canada. A splendid effort in this 500 meters. Well, the Canadians really have closed the gap. At the end of this distance, the Republic of Korea still lead with 32 points. Canada just three points behind, 29 points now. China up with 26 points. Japan in fourth place on 25. The Italians down in fifth on 18 points. Then it's Holland on 14 and Austria only with nine points. Crucial fall there from Barbara Baldizera. But uh, the Canadians have done very, very well in this 500 meters section of the competition. They really have closed the gap. Remember the uh, top two skaters from each team going through to the 3,000 meter final. More points at stake there. Back in a moment. Welcome back. We move on now to the men's 500 meters and uh, we catch our breath after an exciting situation in the ladies competition with the Canadians really closing the door just to remind you of the situation in the men's after the first round of 1000 meters it's the Republic of Korea leading on 16 points Japan in second place on 13 then it's the Canadians on 12 points locked together with China who also have 12 points the Italians in fifth at the moment on 10 so a lot lot closer the men's competition and uh, in the first race, we've got Italy, Japan, Holland, and the Republic of Korea. It's the, the Italian straight out in front, Maurizio Carminio. And the Italians really feel that they can make amends here in this 500 meters. Japan's Yugo Sinahara in second place. The Korean, Yun Suk Jung. Oh, it's down. A fall there from the Korean, with the Italian really out on his own. Yugo Sinahara for Japan. A country mile away at the belt. So the battle for second place. Carninio just needs to stay on his feet round this final bend, really making sure of that. So five points there for Maurizio Carninio for Italy. Japan pick up three points with that second place. Two points for Holland. And, uh, well, quite crucial. The Koreans falling. They're the demise of uh, Yusuk Jung, the Republic of Korea. <laughs> Stop just before the boards. Well, just picking up a point there. How crucial will that be? There, well, the uh, confirmation of the results. I'm glad that scoreboard changed because uh, my heart missed a beat then, just looking at that. But it is five points for Italy. Three for Japan, two for Holland, one for Korea out of that first race. So now the uh, lineup for race 23. Yeah. Mark Gagnon. Last year's world champion. Silver medalist this year, very unlucky and uh, fall in each of his last races. So looking to do better here. The Canadians need the points. Canada down in third place at the moment in these championships. So the lineup for Italy, it's Mirko Wulleman. There he is in uh, lane two for Japan there. On the right of your picture is Satoru Tarao. Then it's Mark Gagnon in lane three. And on the outside for China, Yanhun Ma. But it's uh, Japan's Satoru Torao who goes straight out in front. Mark Gagnon in second place. Mirko Wulleman, the Italian in third. And China's Yanhun Ma right at the back of the moment. And struggling to keep with the pace. So two laps to go. Gagnon makes a move across the inside. Wulleman second place, still Terrell for Japan, hanging on at the bell, Japan lead, Italy second, Canada third, the Italian right up on side, Terrell, and he goes in front now, Mirko Wulleman for Italy leading, 
Willemann's going to get there. Very close at the line. Mirko Willemann for Italy leads. Maximum points in this 500 meters so far for the Italians. Japan picking up three points. Saturo Torral there in second place. Mark Gagnon left it just a little bit too late. Third place, only two points for Canada. That could be crucial. And Yan Yun Ma for China, just one point. Well, Mirko Willemann didn't panic. Left it all to that final lap. There was no way back for Torral. But Mark Gagnon trying to make his move late up the inside out of that final bend. Torral grits his teeth. But you feel almost that uh, Mark Gagnon could have got another stride in there. So there the confirmation of uh, the second race. That's in fact race 23 of the competition, second race of the 500 meters. Now, what can this man do? Jonathan Gill met for Canada. They need the points. There for Holland, Dave Versteeg. With skaters from Japan, Canada, Holland, and Hungary. For Japan on the inner, it's uh, Noya Tamura. And the smallest skater out there, Zolt Leos from Hungary in lane three. Oh. Full start there from uh, Versteeg from Holland. course the start pretty crucial in the 500 meters and uh, a lot at stake in these team competitions better this time so out in front it's uh, Gilmet for Canada then Leos for Holland as uh, Tomura for Japan makes his move up the inside Tomura in second place now Still Jonathan Gilmet for Canada out in front. So Canada, Japan, Hungary, then Holland. As Tomura makes his move up the inside, Gilmet just left the door open with a lap and a half to go. So Japan, Canada, Holland, Hungary at the moment. The Hungarian takes a look up the inside, very close indeed, and uh, Gilmet. Try to move up the inside, out of that final bend. Nuya Tomura for Japan, just closing the door. So Japan, five points there. They've dropped four points so far in this 500 meters. Jonathan Gilmet picking up three points. That disappointing, they could have done with a five. Dave Versteeg for Holland picks up two, and Zolt Leos for Hungary, just a point. An exciting finish to that race, and you can see Jonathan Gilmet tries to move up the inside, but uh, Tomura has the line. No way through there for the Canadian. So there, Orazio Fagoni for Italy. Remember, Italy have maximum points so far in this 500 meters. 10 out of 10. Sun Tai Kim for the Republic of Korea. There's the key Canadian, Francois Drolet. And Christian Sabal for Hungary. There he is. Italian. Orazio Fagoni finished uh, joint fifth in the World Championships. Along with that was uh, teammate Mirko Wuhlemann. So Korea on the inside. Then it's Canada, Hungary, closest to the barrier. The Italian Orazio Fagoni. Oh, a fall into the first corner. They'll be called back. Let's hope everybody's okay. No damage to the limbs or the skates. 
Hunt was throw late. Well, I'm not sure if uh, he was brought down. Let's have a look at it again. Remember, if uh, there is a fall before the apex of the first corner, then uh, it's in fact the Hungarian look. Christian Sabal going right across in front of uh, Francois de Rolet. Nothing he could do about that. And uh, takes out Orazio Fagoni with him. Santai Kim for a moment there thought he was off on his own. Thought all of his Christmases had come at once. But uh, a fall before the apex of the first bend. And it's back to the start. There's Santai Kim. All the Republic of Korea, 13th in the world. Let's hope for a better start this time round. So safety away at the gun, and it's the Korean out in front. Hot in pursuit is Francois de Rolet from Canada. Horatio Fagoni in third place, the Hungarian at the back at the moment. Fagoni now, uh, well, thought he was going to make a move. Perhaps he is now very, very wide, building up speed, cuts back inside. So all oh, Fagoni in second place, almost down. Did well to keep his balance, just catching the back of the skate of Francois Drolet from Canada. So it's Canada leading, Italy in second place. Korea in third, the Italian makes a move at the bell. So Orazio Fagoni for Italy leads this one. Canada in second place, well, very, very close. Republic of Korea in third. No doubt about the winner, that's for sure. Now, Francois Drolet from Canada seemed to be all over the place to me. But uh, certainly another five points for the Italian team. So 15 out of 15. It was... Uh, Drolet for Canada that got their second, but in fact, he is disqualified. That is bad news for the Canadian team. Francois Drolet for Canada, disqualified, no points. So in this 500 metres, they've only picked up five points out of a possible 15, the Canadian team. That will prove crucial. Horacio Fagoni helping his team to maximum points so three points then for korea and two points for the hungarian team as we move on now to uh, race number five in this 500 meters and uh, the last italian skater that we'll see in the 500 meters that's uh, michael antonelli and uh, for hungary there balas notch for holland we've got uh, vincent rovers and Yi Hiao for China. So Antonioli for Italy on the inside. Then it's a Hungarian. Then uh, Vincent Rolvers for Holland and closest to the barrier. For China, Yi Yao. Well, looked to be a full start there from uh, Volvers for Holland. Very, very quick off the line. And uh, he looks across and uh, acknowledges the full start. And they're looking for the B of the bang. Just watch this. And a country mile away, wasn't he? So one full start there for Vincent Volvers for Holland. Volvers in fact disqualified. So it's the Italian out in front once again. Michael Antonioli for Italy leading this one. China Zhi Hiao in second place, then it's uh, Hungary's Balas Notch. It's 
and the Italian desperate to keep the unbeaten record for his team in this 500 meters. Yi Hyun for China takes a look around the outside. The Italian's got the line on the floor oh, and a lunge for the line. Well, desperately close. Antonioli for Italy, I think, just about made it. Yi Hyun finishing in second place and the Hungarian notch down in third so a maximum points there for the Italian team in this 500 meters that has got to make a difference going into the uh, final distance the 3,000 meters and here Yao for China grits his teeth leans into that corner trying to get as tight a line as he can up the inside Antionoli giving it everything to the line there's no way that uh, Yao for China is going to get through there. Well, I can tell you actually that uh, Yao for China is disqualified, so only two finishers in that race. Uh, Italy picking up five points, the Hungarian picking up three. So two races to go. And the Italians have picked up 20 points in this round of the competition. Remember, they were down in, four, in fifth place with uh, 10 points. We've got a total of 30 now. And that certainly will change things. So now, race. 27. The inside for Korea, Dong Sung Kim, then China's Kai Feng. And for Japan, it's Hitoshi Umatsu. And for Hungary, Balan Tibor Kun. A real sprint for that first corner. And it's China's Kai Feng that gets there first. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea in second place. Then it's Umatsu for Japan and uh, Kun for Hungary at the back of the moment. So three laps to go. China, Korea, Japan, Hungary. Points are now crucial because the Italian team have got closer, there's no doubt about it. So China still out in front. Korea in second place, Japan trying to come through. Omatsu looking for a way to pass on the inside. Oh, and look at that. Kai Feng went very, very wide coming out of that final bend. So uh, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea wins that one. Hitoshi Umatsu for Japan finishing in second place, picking up three points. Two points for China. Kai Feng making a mistake or losing his balance. One of the two coming out of that last bend and a point again for the Hungarian team. You can see how close it was. Next race number 28, number 87, Mark. Kai Feng on the inside, trying to look for a way past. And Feng just a little bit wide there, opens the door for Hitoshi Umatsu, and he doesn't need an awful lot of room to get past. So Umatsu finishing in second place. So now the final race in this 500 meter final. And then Mark Velzibor for Holland. That's Jun Huan Li for the Republic of Korea. Canada's, Canada's Eric Beda for number 57. And there for China, Yu Long An. Well, the Koreans with only one victory in this uh, 500 meters. That was in the last race. Canada have not done well at all. A disqualification in the fourth race with Francois de Rolay. Guillemette could only manage second place. And Mark Gagnon finished down in third. So Canada really do need some points here. And it's Eric Badar for Canada out in front. Then it's uh, Yu Long An for China. Hot on his heels. And Yun Huan Lee for the Republic of Korea in third place. The drums beat for the Korean skaters. There's a ball for Holland at the back at the moment. And there you can see, better for Canada losing it as the Korean comes through. Hyun Won Lee 
for the Republic of Korea leads. Canada in second place, China in third, Holland in fourth. This the final lap, can Beda get through on this final lap? And right behind him, oh! It's Hyun Won Lee for the Republic of Korea, picks up those valuable five points. Canada just getting three points there with Eric Beda finishing in second place. Yulong An for China in third, two points for him and a point for Holland. So the situation in the men's competition, it's all changed. Italy now are joint first place with the Republic of Korea. Both teams have 30 points. Japan in third place on 27 points and 20 points only for the Canadian team. Some 10 points off the pace. This is unbelievable stuff. The Canadians usually so strong in the uh, men's competition disqualification there from Francois Drolet that was crucial so the Italians now lead going into the 3,000 meters it's the uh, 3,000 meters next we're going to take a break we'll join us in a moment or two welcome back it's now the ladies 3,000 meters final this is the uh, last distance there will be two races here and uh, there's more points at stake. It's eight points for a win, six for second, five for third, and then it goes four, three, two, one. That's the lineup. So two skaters, or should I say a skater from each nation in each race. The maximum of 16 points on offer in this 3,000 meters. Just to remind you, in the ladies' competition, it's the Republic of Korea that lead on 32 points. Canada in second place on 29 points they really have closed the gap china in third on 26 japan has 25 points italy in fifth place on 18 points so in this uh, first round it's uh, ellen vegas for holland out in front trying to uh, open up a bit of a gap and uh, Slows it up now. And the uh, rest of the field. And that's the uh, Austrian Sylvia Steiner trying to catch the pack. And that's a very, very brave move. Uh, leading the pack is uh, Haikyung Won for the Republic of Korea. This one there is Ikyu Teshikawara for Japan, then uh, Yang Yang for China. Isabel Chere for Canada and the Italian Mara Urbani. Easy to lose track of these uh, races. 13 laps now to go. And it's uh, Vigas for Holland out in front of Barney for Italy in second place as uh, the lead changes again and Teshikawara for Japan goes out in front the Korean Haikyung Won goes with her Isabel Chere for Canada keeping wide and out of trouble locked in behind China's Yang Yang so 10 laps to go it's uh, Teshikawara leading Line goes for Holland in second place as Isabel Charest makes a move up the outside. So Charest now for Canada. Up into second place as the Korean makes a move as well. So uh, Haikyong Won for the Republic of Korea there. Yang Yang for China on the outside in third place. Up on the shoulder of uh, Isabel Charest. Seven laps to go now, and uh, Ikyu Teshigawara out in front. Just uh, the final three laps. And the Korean it is leading, Haikyong Won, who's opened up a gap. Ikyu Teshigawara going with her. Isabel Chere in fourth place. Final lap. Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea leads. Zikyu Teshigawara for Japan in second place. It's going to be close. Oh, Yang Yang gets there. For those valuable five points in third place, just ahead of Canada's Isabel Charest. 
And in fifth, Ellen Vegas for Holland. Sixth was Mara Urbani for Italy. And Sylvia Steiner for Austria, finishing down in seventh place, picking up a point. So eight points going to the Republic of Korea. That could be crucial. Japan picking up six points. China have five. Canada only getting four points there for that fourth place finish. So the Republic of Korea open up their lead. They're up to 40 points now. Japan up to 31. Canada still in with a shout. For finishing in second place. It's going to be close. They need a good result in this uh, next round. So this is the uh, final race in the 3,000 meters. The top four teams after the 3,000 meters will go through to the relay. And uh, even more points at stake there. 13 points for a win, seven for second, five for third, three for fourth. So this race will be crucial. Korea looking very strong indeed with a win in that first round of the competition extending their lead. The Canadians need to do well. going into this race is that uh, the Republic of Korea have got 40 points. Canada just hanging on to that second place on 33 points, but uh, locked behind them, China and Japan, both on 31 points. So 22 laps to go now. This 3,000 metre cat and mouse game. That's uh, Landman for Holland. He's uh, being very brave indeed. With 19 laps to go. Trying to catch the pack. We saw this uh, successfully done in the men's competition in the qualification rounds. Bradbury for Australia winning there. <laughs> 17 laps to go and uh, Anki Yang Landman for Holland still with an awful long way to go. The Korean Lee Kyung Chun out in front. Natalie Lambert for Canada there in second place. Japan Sachi Ozawa. It's in there too. Chun Lu Wang for China. And Marinella can clean the European champion. All eyes on Anki Yana Landman. Who has just about caught the pack with eight laps to go. She's nearly there. And Landman makes it. So the front for Japan, it's Ottawa. Then Cancini for Italy. But remember, Landman is a lap up on the rest of the pack as things start to hot up with five laps to go. The question is, can Landman hang on? As the pace increases, she won't be able to go with them. She's just got to dig in deep and hang on in there. The pack now going for home. The Korean makes a move up the inside. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea takes up the running now. Natalie Lambert's in amongst it. She's got Ottawa just in front of her. Lambert for Canada now. Second place in the pack, but uh, realistically down in third place. China's Chun Lu Wang. 
in fourth. Canclini looks dead and buried. It's the Korean that's going to finish in second place, and uh, Landman does it. That was superb. Read the race very, very well indeed. Yanni Landman for Holland wins. Eight points for Holland. That could be crucial. That'll help there. Case, there's no doubt about it. Korea finishing in second place with six points. Canada only five points for them, and Japan picking up four. So overall, Korea lead on 59 points. Canada in second place on 45. Japan have 40 points, and China now down in third place. They are the four teams that will qualify for the relay, which you shall see shortly. We're going to take a break. Back. Welcome back. It's now the men's competition, the 3,000 meters. So two finals here. And uh, just to remind you, it's Italy leading. But in fact, in joint first place with uh, the Republic of Korea. Both have 30 points. Japan in third place on 27 points. And uh, 10 points behind the leaders, the Canadian team. Out for revenge here in this 3,000 meters. So the lineup for the first race. Mark Gagnon going for Canada, then it's Kai Feng for China. Hungary's Balance Notch. Italy's Mirko Wulleman. For Japan, it's Satoru Torao. And there's Holland's Dave Versteeg and uh, Dong Sun Kim going for the Republic of Korea. Mark Gagnon there. Silver medalist in the World Championships. And uh, how they need the points now. That's China's Kai Feng. And you could almost cut the atmosphere with a knife. A lot at stake here. Dave Vestig for Holland, looking very relaxed. Holland in last place. They only have 11 points at the moment. In fact, Dave is their highest point scorer. The Italians hoping to emulate the uh, performance in the 500 meters when they picked up maximum points. In fact, in the uh, 1,000 meters, Arezio Fagoni disqualified in his round. That could be crucial. No points won there at the end of the day. Those lost points could be very valuable indeed. And uh, Francois de Rollet for Canada disqualified in the 500 metres. How important will that be at the end of the day? Both the Republic of Korea and Japan have had no disqualifications so far. So away we go, it's Korea out in front, Canada on the outside in the shape of Mark Gagnon in third place, Japan in second place. And there's uh, the Dutchman, Dave Versti, goes uh, out on his own. Well, in fact, he takes the Hungarian with him, balance notch. And the pack not wanting to let them get away. The Australians must be bitterly disappointed not to uh, feature in this final day of competition. <laughs> A little bit of teasing going on there from Dong Sung Kim for Korea. He's out in front now. Mark Gagnon doing a bit of a balancing act, almost losing his balance. 20 laps to go, and it's all slowed up. So Korea in front, Canada second, Japan third, China fourth, Italy. Well, that's all changed. 
as uh, Mr. Versti goes off again and the uh, Hungarian Balas Notch going with him 19 laps to go he looks across to see what the rest of the pack are doing as uh, the Korean Dong Sung Kim speeds things up the Canadian Mark Gagnon in fourth place there with 17 laps to go and you can see that uh, Dave Versteeg well they've slowed things up a little bit the pack has speeded up still on his own there is Dong Sung Kim but I don't think there's any way that Versteeg is going to be able to catch the pack at this sort of pace And you can see how important the tactics of this race are. Dong Sun Kim for Korea up with the front two. Now, is he going to keep going? He is. Well, a big cheer goes up. The Korean is going for the pack. Mark Gagnon sensing that, and he's turned the screw a little bit there. So Dong Sung Kim looking across. The Hungarian Balas Notcha looks very, very tired indeed with 10 laps to go. So Kim out on his own. And the pack in hot pursuit. Led by Satoru Torao for Japan. Just behind him is Mark Gagnon. Then the Italian Mirko Wulleman. Now, has Kim gone too early? You can see that gap closing. He's got to hang on in there now. He's committed. So six laps to go. And Tarao for Japan looks tired as well. Mark Gagnon just in behind him. And Tarao is all over, over the place. You can see he's absolutely dead as uh, Gagnon and Feng go through. Mirko Wulleman going up in front of him as well. And Dong Sun Kim is hanging on in there. Three laps to go. Well, those legs will be burning. He will not be able to go any faster. He's just got to grit his teeth and hang on. Two laps to go. He looks across. The crowd are doing everything they can to help him. Dong Sung Kim is hanging on. Kai Feng in hot pursuit on this final lap. Feng looks the stronger of the two. Into the final corner. Can Kim hang on? No, he can't. Oh, dear me. Kai Feng for China. A blistering final two laps. Well, with two laps to go, you'd have thought that Dong Sun Kim had done enough. But Feng was so, so strong, particularly over that final lap. So eight points for China there. Dong Sun Kim for the Republic of Korea. A brave, brave effort. Picks up six points. Five points for Canada. Mark Gagnon finishing in third place. The Italian Mirko Wulleman did everything he could in the latter stages of the race there. Picks up four points. And Satoru Tarao looked dead and buried with about four or five laps to go. His legs had completely gone. Balas Notch for Hungary, two points for him. And uh, Dave Versti for Holland picks up a point. Well, Kai Feng left that so, so late. So China now moves ahead of Canada. Japan still in amongst it. Now 
So the situation now is that uh, the Republic of Korea lead on 36 points. Then uh, Italy in second place. They've dropped a place into second with 34 points. Then Japan still hold on to that third spot on 30 points. Canada five points behind them. They've closed the door a little bit on 25 points. In fact, no, just ahead of them is China on 26 points. So Canada have dropped us fifth place. So this is the last race of the competition. It's the relay next. Remember, the top four teams make it through into the relay. So the lineup here for this final 3,000 meter race. For Hungary, it's Zolt Lajos. And for Holland, Mark Valzebor. Italy's Nicola Franceschina. And for China, Yulong An. Good one leave for the Republic of Korea. Francois Drolet for Canada. And Hugo Sunahara for Japan. The Italian. Franceschina. Looking relaxed. That seems to be the pose for the Italians just before the start of the race. The Canadian there, Francois Drolet, in the black strip. There, the lineup. So, once again, a bit of cat and mouse. As Holland's Mark Velzebor goes straight out in front. It's the Hungarian in second place at the moment. So Holland lead, Hungary second, Korea third. Canada four, China five, Italy six, and Japan at the back at the moment. Hugo Sinahara, it is for Japan. But this man out on his own. Mark Velzebor for Holland. The rest of the field reeling him in. With 20 laps to go. Mark Velzebor's lead is diminishing with every stride. All the skaters in the pack looking quite relaxed still. Mark Velzebor then for Holland. Concedes his challenge there at the front. He's uh, the pack catch him. And everything slows up once more. Still the for Hungary out in front. The Korean, Jun Huan Lee in second place. Then for Japan, it's uh, Simahara, the Italian. Francis Sheena. In fourth place, Canadian there, Francois de Rolay. Right, up into fourth place now. So with 13 laps to go. Pace perhaps starting to hot up. Velzebor right at the back now. How tired he must be feeling. So it's Hungary, Korea, Japan, Canada, Italy.
Chung and Holland. And there, the Canadian comes to the front. Francois Drolet. Doesn't want to take up the running. Let's China's Yulong An go in front. So Yulong An for China leads. Just nine laps to go. And it really has slowed down now. Valzibor was thinking about it. A chance for him to get his legs back. So Velzebor on the inside at the front. Eight laps to go. The Hungarian just behind him. So Velzebor needs to keep his wits about him. Someone's going to make a move in a moment or two. Six laps to go. The Korean has a look. Hyun Hwan Lee. Velzebor still in second place as uh, Drolet for Canada moves around the outside. Things starting to speed up now. Canada lead, Korea in second place. China's up there as well. Velzebor hanging on in there. The Italians there as well.